Let's go ahead and write out that first equation, negative 7x plus 3y. I did give myself a lot of space with that x on purpose. Right here it says that x is 3y plus 20. So I'm going to go in this second equation and I'll replace x with 20. Uh, not 20, but 3y plus 20. Like this. Now I need to distribute that negative 7 into the parentheses, giving us negative 21y minus 140. And I still have that plus 3y equals negative 14. <clears throat> now we can combine like terms. We've got this negative 21y and this positive 3y. So let's go ahead and combine those negative 18y we should have that minus 140 and this equals negative 14 now I need the y's on their own side of the equal sign so I will add 140 to both sides and I've got this negative 18y is equal to a positive 126 And then finally, to solve, I'll divide both sides by negative 18. And I get y equals, I don't know what that equals. It's going to be negative. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, negative 7. Uh, so in my answer, which will be a point on a graph, we have the y value, which is negative 7. Now, to solve for x, it would be easier to use the second equation, which I'm going to do. I've got uh, x equals 3y plus 20, but I'm going to replace y with that negative 7. There we go. And when I combine these two, I get x equals negative 21 plus 20, and combining those two, I get x is negative 1 which I put into this equation. And that's nice because that kind of checks off that second equation. When I check this, all I need to do is put those two values in this top equation. So that's what I will do. I've got negative 7x plus 3y equals negative 14, but I'll replace the x and the y with their respective values negative 1, and negative 7. So that gives us 7 minus 21 equals negative 14. This has to be true, otherwise we did something wrong. It is true. That's nice. So we know our answer is correct. We did check it technically by checking our answer. Yeah. But let's see, if we had done that, it would have still worked, right? Uh, so we found the y first. We got negative 7x plus 3y which was negative 7, and that should equal negative 14. So when we solve this, we should get x equals negative 1, right? Because that's what we got here. So confirming that, we got negative 7x minus 21 equals negative 14. We'll add 21 to both sides. So we have negative 7x equals 7. And when we divide both sides by negative 7, we find that x is negative 1. That's what we had already found right here. So yeah, it works both ways. Yeah. So it's not good.